Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Window shades by United Shade are a great add-on for any RV. They offer shade, minimize sunlight, and provide you with privacy in your RV. One type of shade United Shade offers is motorized roller shades with a 12-volt mechanical set motor. When a motorized shade is new or an existing shade needs to be reprogrammed, it's helpful to have a basic understanding of how to program a motorized shade. In today's video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate setting the upper and lower limits on a motorized shade with a 12-volt mechanical set motor. Let's start right now. The first step is to make sure the motorized shade is installed properly and mounted correctly to make the electrical connection. The electrical connection requires 12 volts and a dual position rocker similar to this one. The rocker switch is not included. To wire the motor to the switch, the blue striped wire is the positive connection and the white wire is the negative connection. With the shade mounted and the wiring completed, we can program the shade's upper and lower limits. You need a plastic limit setting tool like this one, or you can use an 8 inch Allen wrench to do the job. We're going to start with the upper set point. Here's how you do it. Set point adjustment holes. The shade motor has two set point adjustment holes that are used to set the upper and lower stop points of the shade. The inside of one of the holes is white and is labeled with the Roman numeral 1. This hole is also marked with a counterclockwise pointing arrow and a plus sign. This adjustment hole is used to adjust the upper limit of the shade. The other hole is yellow and is labeled with the Roman numeral 2. This hole is marked with a clockwise pointing arrow and a minus sign. This adjustment hole is used to adjust the lower limit of the shade. Setting the upper set point of the shade. Press the up direction on the switch used to move the shade up and down. Continue pressing the switch until the shade goes up as far as it will and doesn't travel anymore. Release the switch. If the upper limit of the shade is lower than you want it, insert the limit setting tool into the white adjusting hole and rotate the tool counterclockwise. Note that the shade does not move as you make the adjustment. After making several rotations with the tool, press the up direction on the switch until the shade stops moving. This is the new upper limit set point. Continue rotating the tool counterclockwise and checking the new limit using the up switch until you reach the desired stop point for the shade. Lowering the upper limit. If the upper limit of the shade is higher than you want it to be, insert the limit setting tool into the white adjusting hole and rotate the tool clockwise. Again, the shade will not move as you make the adjustment. After making several rotations with the tool, press the down direction on the switch for several seconds. Then push the up direction on the switch until the shade stops moving to see where the new upper limit is. If the shade limit position does not move at all when you push the up direction on the switch, you did not hold the down position long enough and the shade is still positioned above the new upper limit. If this happens, hold the down direction button a bit longer and then try the up direction again. Continue rotating the tool clockwise and checking the new upper limit until you reach the desired stop point for the shade. Setting the lower limit set point of the shade. Press the down direction of the switch used to move the shade up and down. Continue pressing the switch until the shade goes down as far as it will go and doesn't travel anymore. Release the switch. Lowering the lower limit. If the lower limit is higher than you want it, insert the limit setting tool into the yellow adjusting hole and rotate the tool counterclockwise. Note that the shade does not move as you make the adjustment. After making several rotations using the tool, press the down direction on the switch until the shade stops moving. This is the new lower limit set point. Continue rotating the tool counterclockwise and checking the new limit using the down switch until you reach the desired stop point for the shade. Raising the lower limit. If the lower limit of the shade is lower than you want it, insert the limit setting tool into the yellow adjusting hole and rotate the tool clockwise. 
Again, the shade will not move as you make the adjustment. After making several rotations with the tool, press the up direction of the switch for several seconds. Next, push the down direction on the switch until the shade stops moving to see where the new lower limit is. Continue rotating the tool clockwise and checking the new upper limit until you have reached the desired stop point for the shade. That's all there is to setting the upper and lower limits of a motorized shade with a 12 volt switched motor. For more information on all types of window shades for your RV, take a minute to visit www.unitedshade.com. Happy camping.